This is At Large Outdoor and welcome to another vinyl recommendation. Today I'm going to be talking about the highly anticipated new album from Rock Marcy, The Elephant Man's Bones. And this one is produced by The Alchemist and that's just a huge pairing, highly anticipated. Um, Rock Marcy normally produces his own, own albums and he's produced albums for other people like uh, Reasonable Drought for Stove God Cooks. Rock Marcy's an absolute legend. His last album his last major release, Mount Marcy. I don't know if that was... He did the album with Flea Lord too, but I think his last solo was Mount Marcy, and that was an absolute classic. A lot of goofy, crazy good lines on there. Um, Mount Marcy is just an absolute classic. Love that album. Uh, so I was highly looking forward to this album, and this album does not disappoint. Elephant Man's Bones delivers in every aspect. This is an absolute masterpiece, and I would expect nothing less having him pair in with The Alchemist. And I like the other albums too, where Rock Marcy's paired up with a producer like Chaos with DJ Muggs. And I feel like he almost rhymes even stronger when it's a project where he's just contributing the rapping. And that's another reason I think this is a really special project. Just uh, really, really all around great. The vinyl's dropping this Friday. And they did a re pre release for the digital version this previous Friday. So I got it early. So at the time of reviewing this, it's not on streaming platforms yet but it is coming. And yeah, let me just get right into it with Rubber Hand Grip. The intro sets like this delirious tone. The whole album has like a dream theme where it feels like it's almost like you're in Rock Marcy's dream. Um, first line that really jumped out to me was throw him in the cells, make him subhuman. That was really interesting. He immediately establishes his pocket with his rapping, his flow, his timing. It's just iconic. Everything Rock Marcy says is almost like in passing, like no one raps like him. I love the chimes in this beat and it's like has this 80s feel throughout. Um, look like you got shot up by an octopus, that's another good line. Um, into Daddy Kane, like a ode to Big Daddy Kane I guess. Uh, this is the song with Action Bronson. Starts with I was getting off soft white long before soldiers were wearing off white bought colored ice called my Walter White. Right then, that was the first line that really was like, whoo, shit. Cause just like colored ice, I called it my Walter White, like damn. Like the blue ice from Breaking Bad, strong reference. Strong reference to people wearing off-white. Absolutely love that, rest in peace, Virgil. Virgil Abloh. Um, and I just love the beat on this. I love the beats throughout. Alchemist deliver these just crazy, intricate, beautiful, like Godfather sounding beats to uh, Rock Marcy. Every boss take a loss, that's a loss leader. When I drop, I better see fire emojis. I'm gonna definitely put either fire emojis in the description or in the title of this, because this is absolutely fire. Into uh, Deja Vu, this is the single that he released. He's talking about like memories almost of rapping the stuff before. It has this like fire, wistful sound. Into Quantum Leap, this is another one of the strong songs on this project. All these beats are fire, but this one really stood out at first. I whipped the brick, now it's submissive. That's a fire line off of this song. And to probably my favorite track on the whole album, the self-titled track, Elephant Man's Bones. The vocal intros to all these, a lot of these songs are just dope. Like instead of having the vocal loop throughout the track, he just uses it for the intro. And the piano is absolutely beautiful on this track. It just comes in so smooth. The only thing I would have done differently is I would have probably had the bass come in and then the drums and then the piano, but them all flowing together is perfect. Uh, my aura in essence fluorescent. That's one of the lines that stood out to me on that just dope ass line. Into Bubble Bath. Just the piano work on this album is crazy. Just this song is so melodic. Like it's like a gangster rap wind up snow globe. Um, and to Liquid Coke, uh, just no words for this song, just another dope track. Uh, Trillion Cut, talking about fentanyl, Boldy James is mixed really well on this song, like Boldy's voice sounds the best it's ever sounded. And the Alchemist kind of incorporated some of his um, mixing that he used like on Harem. And just, uh, I wasn't surprised to see Boldy, but that was a really cool feature. And to uh, um, Horns of Abraxas. This is an iced tea feature. Crazy to even get iced tea on a project these days. Um, yeah, just really dope track. Soldiers left a shell. Just really dope track. Into Jumpin' Jack Flash, JJ Flash. Another fire song, weird Beatles reference though. Uh, my first plug was my first love is a funny line on that song. A lot of, a lot of 
Rock Marcy's really delivering like a gangster rap album this time around. It's a lot less of like what he traditionally puts in and a lot of just like super gangster stuff this time. And to probably my second favorite song after Elephant Man's Bones on this project, Zigzag Zig. Just another crazy piano track, just the beat is so fire. He says higher than giraffe pussy in this song. That's not the best bar, but that was just funny. And to Stigmata, the vocal flips on this one are all like in the intro. And this is where I really started to notice this. Like He's like introing the tracks with the vocals and then he just lets the beat ride. It's pretty interesting. Steel Vagina Iron Pussy. You couldn't squeeze, you should be on the cookie sheet. That's what you get for playing hooky. Another line I really liked that was on that song. And to Zip Guns, another really strong track, Knowledge the Pirate is Fire. I love the Knowledge the Pirate feature. That's pretty much all I can say on there. Great, another great feature. And to Think Big, this is just another fire beat. Seagulls, hi-hats, and an organ. Uh, he says bass, no 808. Uh, police said they had my fingertips, but I cleaned it. Another good line. And to Macaroni, and I don't know if Macaroni and Mama's Love are the bonus tracks that aren't going to be on the vinyl. But Macaroni, he just continues to stay in his pocket this whole album. Need to quit rhyming and get a job. He's talking about other people. That was a funny line. Into Mama's Love, just another dope vocal intro into another dope track. So yeah, this whole album was just absolutely fire. Nothing to less... I expect nothing less from The Alchemist and Rock Marcy. But in some ways, I think this album is better than Rock Marcy. And that's not something I thought I would say. I really like his Dark Horse album, too. That's another fantastic classic album. Rock Marcy's really establishing himself as a legend. Uh, if I slurred in this one, I'm sorry. I'm getting over a really bad fever. I recently got COVID, and it was pretty bad. Uh, but recovering from that, I wanted to do this review right when the digital version dropped. I just couldn't. I stood up here a few times and almost, like, passed out. Like, it was bad. But um, gotten over my fever. My health is coming back. Recently saw Kendrick live, and uh, that was an incredible show. Wasn't a big fan of uh, Sienna Leone or whatever, or Baby Keem, but Kendrick was spitting. And uh, I've never seen anyone perform with as much focus as Kendrick performed with, but um, that was a crazy concert. Just wanted to shout that out. But yeah, Rock Marcy. I love the theming. Uh, there were some lines like in the last song where he addresses how people think he's misogynistic. I thought that was interesting because that's kind of the biggest criticism people have of Rock Marcy. But I don't really see it like it's I think he comes from a goofy place more than anything, an entertaining place. He's just a triple A fantastic underground rapper like Rock Marcy's on the list of like the goats. So um, definitely liked this project. Definitely recommend checking it out. Definitely recommend supporting it in whatever ways you can. I bought the digital version, and this Friday, you best believe I'm going to be buying the vinyl. So definitely cop this one.